Hello everyone, welcome to day 23rd of August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is to sum 4, input is a binary search tree. In this question, we are given the root of a binary search tree and we need to tell if there exist two elements when added together gives us a target number k. If such two number exists in the binary search tree, we return true, otherwise we return false. Let's try and understand it by an example that is specified here. This is a binary search tree and what is the target that we are looking for is 9. So there are two combinations, one is 3 plus 6, other is 2 plus 7. Since uh, we found out the total sum of two numbers in the tree that adds up to 9, we return true as the answer. Let's walk through the other case. We have k equals to 28 and uh, the maximum two numbers would be 6 and 7 in this binary search tree. So there exists no number which can add up till 28 and we return false. Without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and this is a simple question. I will talk about this more in the presentation. Input sum 4. Input is a binary search tree, lead code 653. This is an easy question on lead code and I also believe the same. I hope all of you are able to solve it by yourself. But those who are new, this solution is for you. So this is the binary search tree that is given to us. And we need to tell whether there exist two elements in this binary search tree when added together gives us the total sum of k. And let's start. Instead of uh, taking k as 9 because it will end very soon at 3 and 6, let's take the value of k as 11. And how I can do this? Uh, if we can reduce this problem from a binary search tree to a sorted list, we can solve it using the two pointer approach. I think most of you are aware of the two pointer approach, but let's just talk about it in detail. Let's go step by step. The first thing that we are going to do is to transform this binary search tree into sorted array list. And how can we do that? Binary search tree has a property that when traversed in an in order fashion left info right or left data right it gives us the elements in a sorted order and we'll also do the same while traversing in an in order fashion we'll keep on storing the elements in an in a list and this will give us a sorted format of this binary search tree and let's do that the first element that we have would be two then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, and then 7. And now how can we start this iteration to identify whether two elements exist in this binary search tree that adds up to 11? We'll take two pointers. The first one is left, the other one is right. And you add these two elements. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is lower than 11. What you're going to do, you'll update the left pointer. 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 is lower than 11, you will update the left pointer. 4 plus, 11, 4 plus 7 is 11, you found an existing match that was expected and the, you returned true from there. Had it been the case where uh, the sum of left plus right would have become greater than k, you would have reduced the value of r. This is a standard two pointer approach that we follow in most of the questions. And once you are uh, you have identified that there exists an element you return true from it if the limit is exhausted left becomes equal to right the left index become equal to right you abort the process and return false from there i hope you understood this logic the time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are traversing through the elements of the binary search tree only once and you're also storing all those elements in a array and the space complexity becomes order of n I hope this is the most obvious solution that comes to everybody's mind when they read this question. But I have something else on the plate as well. So look, let's look at the solution, uh, the other solution, which will be using hash sets. In this approach, we will define a set that will store all the elements that you have seen in the binary search tree so far. So let's start the iteration and we'll define a set. Initially, it will be empty and the root of the tree that is given to us is 5. The target that we are looking for is, let's assume k to be 11. 
and the first element that we have is 5 does the counter element target minus 5 exists in the set it doesn't exist in the set uh, so what we are going to do we'll add 5 to the set and we'll continue the iteration on the remaining two branches of the current node and uh, let's go step by step uh, we will invoke the same function on the remaining two branches of the uh, input root so what is the current root the current root becomes 3 and what is the counter element the counter element is 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 is 8 does 8 exist in the set 8 doesn't exist in the set so what you are going to do you will add 3 uh, to the uh, set data structure similarly you are also processing it for the right part so uh, what is the counter element for 6 the counter element is 5 and does this exist in the set yes it does exist in the set and as a result of which since the counter element exists in the set you abort the process and return to from there now comes the question why does it actually work it works because we are iterating in this binary search tree in an in order fashion we are first processing on the current node then on its left child and then on its right child and correspondingly as you traverse the set gradually increases uh, in size adding both lower values and higher values so as you progress uh, gradually uh, the uh, elements gets added onto the set uh, both in terms of lower values and simultaneously in terms of higher values so correspondingly both the elements are simultaneously getting added it's not the case that all the lower elements are getting added or all the higher elements are getting added the time complexity for this approach is order of n and the space complexity for this approach is again order of n because you are storing all the elements in the set without much ado let's look at the coding section now in the first step I'm talking about the first approach here I'll create a new list I'll perform the in order traversal in of in, on this uh, input root tree and once I'm done with this all the elements inside the nums array are in sorted order I take two pointers left equals to zero and right equals to num dot size minus one till the time they both they don't intersect each other or reach the same converging point if I calculate the sum of the leftmost element plus the rightmost elements if it's equal to k i return true otherwise if it's less than k i increment the leftmost pointer otherwise i inc i uh, reduce the rightmost pointer because the total sum is greater than k in the end and simply return false in order traversal is pretty simple and straightforward let's try this up accepted now let's see the other solution new set and perform pre-order traversal on the set if my root happens to be null i return false otherwise i calculate the counter element that i need to search in the tree if set contains that counter element i return true otherwise i go and add that root element into the set and perform the pre-order traversal on its left child and its right child pretty straightforward the time complexity for both these approaches is order of n and space complexity again is order of n i hope you enjoyed today's session if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye